Hello, YouTube family. Auntie's got the curls and the scoop. And, oh boy, I got some scoop. We're going to do some breakdowns, find out some new things that are going. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I hope you're ready. Come on, let's get this hug in. It's time for the scoop because it's not cute not knowing. Let's break down the Sherry Shepard, Wendy Williams show drama. When news came down that Cherry was going to be the permanent guest host, this story was not supposed to come out yesterday. Someone leaked it and it took off. So then everybody had to say, well, we're doing this, we're doing that. When I say it came out early, Sherry Shepard was still negotiating. She's got other stuff going on. Dish Nation, she's going on a tour with Kim and Babyface. She had other commitments. So she's got to do some, you know, moving around and stuff so she get, so she could do this. Plus, if Wendy doesn't come back, well, she'd be giving her own show, not, you know, the Wendy Williams show. It would be Sherry Shepard show. The people at Debmar, I think they're a little messy, and I think they did not know how to handle this. On Monday, I talked about how... The staff was revolting. Like, what are you guys doing with this show? Are you trying to tank it? I think one reason, they may be losing their patience. I mean, they say if Wendy wants to come back, she can. You know they put her on long-term disability because this is what these companies do and you're not going to get all your money. I think also in their divorce, in Wendy's divorce from her husband, he would still be able to get money from that show because he was one of the creators. I think Deb Marr wants to get off the hook, giving any money to Kevin. They just really want to start anew. They they tired. They they have had, you know, run out of patience. Some weeks the show is good, some weeks it's bad, but it depends on who is the host. Leah Remini is pissed. She's very mad. She mad. Somebody at Debmar promised her that show. You know, when she would do it, it wasn't like it wasn't like Wendy's show. She was just going in there doing her own thing. And the ratings were terrible because people were like, girl, what you doing? What's going on here? Sherry came in, followed the, you know, the format of things and did very well. Leah Remini was under the assumption that she was being groomed for her own talk show. Sherry has got to finish getting everything together with her other commitments. And then in the fall, they'll see, is Wendy coming back? Is she well enough? Does she want to come back? Or should they just start from scratch with a brand new show in Sherry Shepard? But somehow, this story leaked was not supposed to come out yet. They were going to break the news, but... It wasn't supposed to come out yet because they didn't let the other people know, oh, you're not getting a job. Oh, you're not getting it. Oh, you're not getting it. Today, they didn't even address it. So a lot of people was up there thinking, I'm going to get the show. Sherry Shepard is going to get it, but she's got a lot of negotiation and her team is trying to work it out. But who leaked it? There's a new documentary coming out. Magic Johnson. The real life story of Magic Johnson is coming April 22nd to Apple TV. It's a four part documentary. His career, all time, NBA legend. When he announced he had HIV, how it changed the conversation. Successful entrepreneur, community activist. It's coming. It's a four part documentary, Apple TV. They call me Magic. April 22nd. Adele. Last night, she was amazing at the Brit Awards. She sang. She came on that red carpet. She got a lot of awards. She cleaned up very well. One of the awards is they don't do best male, best female. It's just one category. Well, Adele went to accept the award, and she says, I love being a woman. Child, why people losing their minds? This sensitivity and all of this, it's its its too much. She could say she's glad to be a woman. If you're a woman, you could say you're glad to be a woman. 
people started losing their minds because Adele said that. I was like, y'all ain't got nothing better to do. You know, um, she was very grateful to our fans. She came on and she sang. I think she sang that song about wanting to drink some wine. But she came, she slayed, she looked fabulous. She did show up on that carpet with this diamond ring. It's big, it's gorgeous. And, and she made sure to show that hand what they would just, Adele, Adele, where you get that ring? Who gave you that ring? Now, sources say she's known for doing little stunts like this because people think that she bought that damn ring and that the boyfriend didn't give it to her. She's still doing some little childish things with the relationship part, but they want to know where that ring came from. And the boyfriend is awfully quiet. He is trying to stay hidden. But did Adele buy her own ring? Idris Elba, he was at the Brit Awards last night, and he was looking sharp, dark shades, jacket, just looking good. His pants was unzipped, and nobody told him. Then why did somebody tell him, yo, Idris, your pants, they're unzipped. You gotta zip your pants up. So when he finally realized it, he had to have one of them cue cards, and he had to hold it and just do his thing, but... His pants were unzipped, and he didn't know it. Remember the rapper Old Dirty Bastard, ODB? His wife is suing for a million dollars. She says that her husband, who was a part of the Wu-Tang Clan, is due a million dollars. She said, they're making these documentaries and money and shows. Where my, where, where my husband's money? She wants a million dollars. Bridgerton is coming back. It's coming back strong. March 25th, they say, because I, I want y'all to help me with this part. They say the sex scenes are going to be steamy. And it's all about the female gaze. <laughs> what's, what's the female gaze? <laughs> are you just so amazed that it's just like, I'm just asking. I'm just asking that that's what it said. West Side Story. It's coming out. Disney Plus, March the 2nd. Yeah, sometimes I even have to ask questions. Nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Director, Steven Spielberg, Best Picture, Best Supporting Actress, Ariana DeVos. I always said this movie is going to find a whole new audience when it starts streaming, and it is coming March 2nd. Jennifer Lopez's new movie, Marry Me, is not only going to be in theaters, but it's also going to be streaming on the Peacock Network. Yesterday, when the Academy Awards were announced, there were snubs, the snubs that were heard around the world. Lady Gaga, her legion of fans, the little monsters, they want to know how did Kristen Stewart get up there for Princess Diana and how did Jessica Chastain for the eyes of, of Tammy Faye. Well, first off, Kristen Stewart literally transferred herself in that movie Spencer to look like Princess Diana. You didn't think you you didn't think um Kristen Stewart. She really transformed herself. And Jessica Chastain, this was a movie that wasn't seen by a lot of people, but when it comes on cable and streaming, you gotta see it. It was about the evangelist, Jim and Tammy Bay Faker. Tammy come up there crying and all happy and the eyelashes and all the makeup. She transformed herself. So it's not that these women were not um, deserving of a nomination. But Lady Gaga, they felt she poured her heart into the house of Gucci. What happened? And why, why did it go this way? And why wasn't she nominated for an Academy Award? They say that Lady Gaga is heartbroken because, I mean, she really poured herself. And I think it, everyone thought it was a shoe in that Lady Gaga was going to be nominated, but it just didn't happen. Aretha Franklin's family is mad about Jennifer Hudson getting snubbed. Before Aretha Franklin died, she was involved in this process. She wanted Jennifer Hudson. This was her story. She wanted it done like this. Nothing for Jennifer Hudson and Aretha Franklin's family is very upset. And I'm sure that Jennifer Hudson is upset because you got to think for the past two years, everything has been Aretha, 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 Aretha. You get to the Academy Awards and she gets nothing. 
they're going to make up for it at the NAACP Awards. Now, before people are saying that's not the same thing, she, NAACP, watch. She's going to, she'll probably win that night. Kim Kardashian is gracing the cover of Vogue magazine in a surprising and revealing interview. She says that she left Kanye West to make herself happy. She says sometimes in life, you've got to be honest with yourself if you want to be happy. She's got four kids by Kanye. You know, a lot of people say, well, she knew what she signed up for. And now, you know, she wants to be happy and she no longer wants to be controlled. Kanye was on social media praying to God, asking God, please bring my family back together. There's a really interesting documentary that's going to start streaming next week on Netflix. It's called Jean Yes. The early years of Kanye, for many of us, we love we love college dropout Kanye. Those early years, because we after college dropout, we was like, no, what didn't happen here? Because I, uh, uh. it looks good. This documentary, we're talking his days in Chicago and growing up and music and a lot of people who have that kind of like genius. It's like a borderline. They're a genius, but there's also another side, which I think explains his behavior at times. But this starts streaming on the 16th. Actor Anthony Johnson, AJ, he was in Friday, house party. He died last September, 55 years old, and they found him in a store, and he had been there a couple of days. Well, medical examiner is saying that this dude drank himself to death. Years, you know, years of drinking will destroy your liver. They said he literally drank himself to death. Cardi B taking her daughter off of Instagram. She was too young. She was too young to have a little a, a, an account because what happened was trolls, punks, people who have nothing better to do but to be a keyboard gangster and want to criticize and just troll a young kid. Who does that? Are you that miserable in your life? If you ain't got nothing to say, please go, go somewhere and either wash your ass or clean your house. I can't believe that people would be that miserable, but there are people out here who are that miserable. She took her daughter off because she couldn't take the comments and things that were made. Cardi, put your let her do it. Let them discover that as teenagers. Toddlers, it's, it's just too young because there's a vast majority of people on social media and they don't have good intentions. Nelly. Y'all know the real husbands of Hollywood returns tomorrow. BET Plus. Kevin Hart. Boris Kojo. J.B. Smooth. Nick Cannon. Jackie Long. Robin Thicke. And Nelly. Do we mention Nick Cannon? Nelly. And they say this season that Nelly is looking for a wife. Well, yesterday... You know, he was trending because he said um, there was a picture of a woman, a video, and she was doing things to him. Nelly says his Instagram account was hacked and he's sorry. No, Nelly, what you should be sorry about, if you're not a certain way, don't be leaking no videos because they're calling him little Nelly. Nelly, <laughs> I don't like stunts, but if you're not a certain way, don't do that. Don't do that. Sometimes people don't need to see everything. Little Nelly, that's what they're calling him. Prince's estate, he died within a will. Whether you have money or not, you got to have your finances in order. And I got a brand new podcast up, Patty and the Millennials. Look at me with my plug. We talk about finances. I think kids should learn about finances in elementary school because they grow up and there are so many people, millions of people, who are irresponsible with money. And it's because they don't know how to budget, save, put money up for a bill. Some people will blow their whole paycheck. Think of all the people who didn't pay not one bill in December for Christmas because they were doing Christmas stuff. I think that people should learn financial literacy. Got to find us where we live, SoundCloud, Pandora, 
iHeartRadio podcast, Apple podcast. Really good conversation that we had. But Prince's estate was a prime example of what goes wrong when you don't leave a will and finances is all over the place. As we leave here, special prayer going out to Quinta Brunson. She has Abbott Elementary, hottest new show on TV. She recently lost her grandfather. So can we please keep Quinta and her family in prayer? He played such a huge part in her life. And we just send prayers out to Quinta. Our condolences to you and your family. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Tell people to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment because Auntie goes through these comments. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And thanks so much. We had curls. We had scoop. We had laughs. What was it? The female gaze. We're going to find out what the female gaze is as Bridgerton gets ready to come back. But thanks so much for joining us. It's not cute not knowing. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.